propped up during that crazy period between Election Day and the insurrection, one of the most vocal proponents of Donald Trump's bogus claims of a stolen election. Burke pushed this bizarre conspiracy theory about phony ballots being trucked across the country to stuff boxes, completely obviously not true. She even sued to overturn the results of the election, although that lawsuit was thrown out when a judge ruled she did not have standing to bring it because she was not registered to vote. Oops. Now that led Burke to one of Trump's lawyers, Sidney Powell. It's crowded field and perhaps the most ridiculous figure in this whole thing. What we are really dealing with here and uncovering more by the day Hi. is the massive influence of communist money through Venezuela, Cuba, and likely China in the interference with our elections here in the United States. The Dominion voting systems, the Smartmatic technology software, and the software that goes in other computerized voting systems here as well, not just Dominion, were created in Venezuela at the direction Pause. of Hugo Chavez to make sure he never lost an election after one constitutional referendum came out the way he did not want it to come out. Now, keep in mind, that, that, <laughs> that was at the actual RNC. Everything she said there uh, is, is not true. Uh, and, and also, I mean... Powell's theory of the case was that you were Chavez, who of course been dead for years, was kind of from beyond the grave and rigging voting machines from Venezuela to switch the election. Powell also believed that CIA Director Gina Haspel had been kidnapped in Germany trying to steal a clandestine computer search. Just real, you know, 200 proof conspiracy brain poison kind of thing. Again, she was one of Trump's lawyers. She was like in the White House during this period. There's Rudy Giuliani. She's there at the RNC. Well, Sidney Powell introduced Stacey Burke to a right-wing military-themed gang called the First Amendment Praetorian. Interesting name. Uh, the First Amendment Praetorian, they Hello. often served as hired security for Powell's friend, disgraced national security official Michael Flynn. Apparently, the First Amendment Praetorian were going to serve as security for Ms. Stacey Burke as well. And to do so, the men, and I'm not making this up, this is the reporting, moved into her home under the guise of protecting her from the deep state, a rotating group of middle-aged men invading this woman's home and staying there rent-free. Of course, the militiamen painted this as a favor to Stacey Burke. Mm -hmm. Burke told a local Arizona reporter the men would say, quote, you're going to get killed, all this stuff, you're going to save the country, Look at Cupcake. My boy. Look at that big was their boy. name for her, Cupcake. Burke says she found it demeaning. I can see why. She was also rightfully terrified of the group who had taken over her home. Just like, kind of occupied it. Again, they say they're associated with Michael Flynn. They're this kind of weird, gray, like, gray